Welcome. Please pause this video and try the problem on your own. Let's start by reading this together. It says, let f be the function represented by the graph below. So here's the, here's the graph of f, of f, right? And then let g be a function. So g of x is equal to negative 1 half x squared plus 4x plus 3. Determine which function has the larger maximum value and then justify your answer. So here, um, this is kind of an intimidating question, but let's break it down in pieces. Look at the graph of f, and you can see the maximum value would be the highest point this point right here. So that's our first answer. That point is 1, and then go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's the point at 1, 6. So the maximum value for f is 6. The max for f is 6. And that point is called the vertex. And here I'm going to tell you a formula. I'm not going to derive it here. I'm going to show you how to apply it. Um, it turns out that when you find a vertex, the x value of the vertex always equals negative b over 2a. Um, that's not, not too difficult to prove. Um, I talk to your teacher, or I'm sure there are other videos online. I think I've put some up there as to where this comes from. But once you have that, we can apply this to find the x value of the vertex, right? Here's what I mean. In g of x, a equals negative 1 half. In g of x, b equals 4, the coefficient of x. And in g of x, c is 3, which is not relevant here, but that comes into play in the quadratic equation. So that means that the x value for the vertex equals negative 4, negative b, over 2, times negative 1 half. And that equals what? Negative 4 over 2 times negative 1 half is negative 1. Negative 4 over negative 1 is just 4. So that's not our vertex. That's not our highest point. That's the x value of the vertex. To find the actual vertex, we take this value 4 and plug it in to our function because that's the input. x is the input. We want the output. We want the height at 4. So the x value of the vertex. So let's plug in 4 and see what happens. Okay, so g of 4. Right, we're plugging in 4 for x. Negative 1 half times x squared, so 16. That's 4 squared. Plus 4 times 4 plus 3. And just simplify this. So negative 1 half times 16, g of 4 equals negative 8, plus 16, plus 3. Negative 8 plus 16 is 8, plus 3 is 11. So, so the vertex here is a higher maximum. It's a higher max, right there. And that's, I think, pretty sufficient for justifying. You could say, based on the input of 4, we know that it has a higher output, um, so it's a higher maximum. All right, hope this helped.